Welcome to another video. I'm the Starman, and if you saw my last video, you'll know that I came into possession of a telescope for the first time in years. Yeah, it's years since I had a proper telescope such as this one. This is a very, very powerful Schmidt Cassegrain. It's a six inch reflecting telescope, and it has a massive, massive focal length. Now, one of the things that I used to do when I used to have a telescope like this one is I used to use it to image the planets because that's what this sort of telescope is more suitable for. The planets, the moon, that sort of thing. It's also quite good for some of the more brighter deep space objects as well, like the Andromeda Galaxy and the Orion Nebula. And that's a subject that I want to come on to in this video. Now, one of the gadgets that I got with this telescope, and I got many, is this one here. Now, this is a smartphone holder. Now, I'm sure we've all got smartphones now. And this enables you to put your smartphone up against the viewfinder of the telescope and possibly take some amazing pictures of space. How about that there? Eh? I mean, we're all used to using the phones now for taking photographs, but imagine pointing the, the camera up into space through the telescope. Can you imagine the sort of pictures that you would get? I managed to capture this image of the planet Saturn. And this must have been about 10 years ago. And I used an old iPhone 4 to take it. And I did it the same way. I just held up the phone and managed to get this lucky shot. And just look at that amazing shot there of Saturn. That was taken with a smartphone up against a telescope, just like this one. Absolutely unbelievable. It's called afocal imaging. And it's where you put a smartphone or a small camera up against the eyepiece of a telescope. And it's the quick and easiest way, a quick and dirty way, should I say, of getting into astrophotography. It's a great way to start. It's fun as well. Now, what I want to do is I want to show you how to put your phone on here. It does look very confusing, but it's all to line up your phone with the eyepiece of the telescope. Now, what I want to do after I've done that is I want to try and see if I can actually photograph the Orion Nebula. It's high in the sky in the evening. It's an amazing part of the sky. You can see it with your own eyes. You can see it with binoculars. Go out and look at the Orion Nebula. It's underneath the belt of Orion. I'm going to see if I can use my phone, and it's an iPhone 12 Pro Max, much newer than the older iPhone 4 that I used for that Saturn shot. I'm going to see if I can get some sort of picture of the Orion Nebula through this telescope. Now, of course, it does help if you've got a telescope that tracks the sky like this one. You don't have to have a telescope quite as big as this one, but it does help if it can track the sky so it keeps the subject in the frame while you're trying to take a picture of it. So anyway, let's set this up now. I'll show you how to set it up and then we'll wait for it to get dark and we'll see if we can get a shot of the Orion Nebula using a smartphone. Okay, now, I just want to point something out before I attach the phone to the holder, is that you'll notice a lot of smartphones these days have multiple cameras, like mine here, this iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now, I want to use the standard camera for this. I don't want to use the telephoto lens, which is that one. The wide-angle lens is this one, and the normal camera is this one. It's actually got a fairly fast aperture at f1.8, so that's going to be the most ideal camera to use. It's this one that I need to line up with the eyepiece. Okay, so this is the uh, mobile phone holder here, and it does look really complicated with all these light like, knobs on it and all that sort of thing, but it's actually quite easy once you get used to it. The, this clamp on the end goes on the eyepiece of the telescope here, this clamp here, but the, the mobile phone simply goes in like this. You see that there? I've taken the case off this phone, by the way, because uh, it's much easier without the large case in it. So that's it sitting inside the mobile phone holder now. What we need to do is we need to locate the camera. You see the camera I was telling you about? It's the bottom camera on my iPhone 12 Pro Max. So what we need to do is we need to sort of line that up there by using these dials here. There's, there's dials here and we get that lined up in the clamp there. So when that goes on the telescope, that lens will be the one that's looking down the, the viewfinder. Okay, so I'm just practicing this now before it gets dark. I've got to put this clamp over there. Can you see that clamp goes over there like that? And then once that's in, we can then tighten this up here and that tightens the clamp up. I'm practicing this now before I do it at night, you see, because I, I might struggle to do this in the dark if I've not done it before. And then it's just a case of using those, those knobs on the bottom to line it up with the eyepiece so that you get the subject in the field of view 
of the camera of your smartphone. So there you go, that's it set up now. And uh, there you go, that wasn't too difficult, was it? Well, it might be a bit harder in the dark though when you're trying to line up the, the moon or something like that, but we'll see. Okay, so here I am now in the garden and as if by magic, darkness has fallen. Now, conditions are not ideal. We've got a few clouds moving around, but they're the least of my problems here in my garden. I have got all kinds of obstructions. I've got street lights. I've also got loads of telephone wires going from a telegraph pole right outside my house. I've got all these obstructions and it's uh, pretty horrendous, but I want to show you now what's possible to get when you've got a telescope similar to this and a mobile phone. And like I said in the introduction, I've never actually used a mobile phone holder to take pictures of space before. This is going to be the first time. It's going to be really, really interesting. So I've got the holder here and hopefully we'll be able to get a picture of the Orion Nebula. Let's try it, shall we? I'm getting all excited. Okay, now I just had the telescope looking at the moon there. It's just sort of gone into a bit of a cloud there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring it back round to the Orion Nebula. So let's go into the menu here. And on here, we should be able to find, on this uh, uh, controller here, we should be able to find the Orion Nebula. It'll be listed on here. I found it now, I've, I found the Orion Nebula now. We're gonna go to that now, it's gonna slew round the scope, slowly. Now I can't see the Orion Nebula at the moment. Uh, there's a big cloud moved in the way, but hopefully we'll get a chance to photograph it. I'll get to see it through the viewfinder first and check that it's there, and then we'll have a go at photographing it. Right, okay, so the scope is now lined up with the Orion Nebula, or at least I think it is. There's some cloud in the way at the moment. But when that cloud moves out of the way, I'm gonna check inside the finder scope to check that the Orion Nebula is there. It should be. And what I'll do is I'll center it up in the finder scope, and once that's been done, I'll be able to get it in the middle of the main scope. Because the main scope has so much more magnificent so much more power than the finder scope. I might need to do a little adjustment to get it in the middle and uh, that's what I'm going to do. And once it's lined up in there, hopefully this cloud, it is moving out of the way, hopefully, I can then put my mobile phone holder on. In fact, I'll set it up now. Put the phone onto the, the viewfinder there and now I do need to tighten it up because it's very important. It's a bit wobbly, but once I tighten this up, someone's sending me a message or something. <laughs> as I'm doing this here, <laughs> putting it on there. But hopefully, with any luck, we'll be able to see the Orion Nebula on my phone. Okay, so I've got the Orion Nebula centered in the field of view, and I've got my phone on here. I think we've got something down, I don't know if you can see, ignore this down here, because that's the controls for the phone there. So it's only the bits up here that we're concerned about in this part here. We've got something there. Now, if I could just adjust this, just to see if I could bring those. Oh, look at this. Can you see that? We're starting to get something. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That must be it. That must be the Orion Nebula. Whoa, look at that. Let's try and take a picture, shall we? Watch this now. So it's the normal camera lens on the iPhone, the bottom lens on this particular model, the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And I've lined that up and I'm now gonna take a picture and it's gonna take a long exposure of five seconds. Look at this now, watch this. Oh my goodness, look at that. Let's have a look at this picture now. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. Look at that, that is amazing. I cannot believe it, I hope you can see that. It's, I'm probably not, it's probably not coming over very well. Uh, I'm gonna put a picture on the screen now of what I've just taken. That is absolutely incredible. Look at that, you can even see the trapezium. They're the four stars that are at the center of the nebula, the Orion Nebula. It's even picked up those, absolutely incredible.
Okay, now here's another one that I've just taken as well. I managed to line it up a little bit. It looks like a globe, doesn't it? But that's the shape of the viewfinder. And just look at this picture of the Orion Nebula. Can you believe how good this is? I'm just using a mobile phone, using Afocal. It's called Afocal or Afocal Imaging through the viewfinder of a telescope which happens to be a, an SCT, a Schmidt Cassegrain telescope, a very very powerful telescope and the Orion Nebula is one of the brighter nebulas in the sky and just look at this picture which I've been able to get with relatively simple equipment. I know the scope is pretty good scope but uh, it gives you some idea of what you can do with a mobile phone. It's absolutely amazing isn't it? So there you go, how about that? Absolutely amazing. I managed to get an amazing picture of the Orion Nebula using just my mobile phone down the eyepiece of my telescope. Absolutely amazing. And and as well, I think it's just an artifact of the viewfinder, how it made it look like a looked a bit like a planet, didn't it? Like a little planet. I really, really like that effect. It's absolutely amazing. And I think I'll probably print that picture out because I'm so, so pleased with it. Uh, what I got, because I had no idea that I could get a picture quite as good as that. But there you go, folks. And I hope I've given you some ideas about having a go at this yourself. You don't necessarily need such a big telescope like this. I've got quite a fancy phone as well, haven't I really? But there's a lot of mobile phones out there, smartphones out there now that are very, very good at taking pictures. This is not particularly the best one. The Google phones are very good. The Samsung are excellent as well. So you can have a go with one of those and see what you get. Anyway, I hope you like this video and I'll see you on the next one. And don't forget to keep looking up.